Yeah. What up, Taekwondo? What up, baby? What's up, P? Hey, listen. This video says every man needs a mouthpiece in the game. I totally agree. You could look any type of way. As long as you got a mouthpiece, you will succeed. So we finna react to it. Um, never seen this vid before. Finna see what he talking about. My boy Taekwondo always be having a good game. So let's see what he talking about, man. Cause I'ma uh, I'ma elaborate on some of the things he probably got to say. I know I'll be. Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby man. Have no fear, Taekwondo is, is here, here, man. Listen, we talking about mouthpiece today. We talking mm -hmm. about talking to a woman versus talking at her. We talking about mm. being smooth, seductive, using what she says and to be quicker on your feet mm. and apply pressure. And I'm really wanna have this discussion today because a lot of the, I see a lot of discussion on the internet. A lot of dudes does, do not know what it means to apply pressure. A lot That's... of dudes does not know what it means to, to use the conversation, the tools that a woman is giving you while you're talking to her. Well, a lot of y'all don't realize too, right? Because y'all don't have a trained ear, is that a woman will literally <laughs> tell you what to say to her if you know how to listen or you know what to look out for when you're talking to her. And we have this beautiful example right here from the dude named Rich and Unemployed, I believe his name is. And shout out to him because guess what? Game gonna recognize game every time. Facts. And I see him do something with, you know, Melly Monaco before in the past. So, you know, we just gonna focus on this clip that's been going viral on social media for all the right reasons, as y'all about to see. Now, I'm gonna play the clip one time straight through because y'all hate it when I, oh, you pause so much. But when I want to break something down, <laughs> so I'm gonna pause it, my guy. You gonna see me pause it. It's just gonna, it's inevitable. When a thought spawns and I gotta talk about something, guess what? I'm gonna talk about it. So let's get straight to it. So here's the setup. He talking to this woman on a podcast, and it starts like this. You want to get married? I, I will. think I asked you this a long time ago. Is it my baby? Just listen. I just feel like we had this conversation before, and you told me I believe you no. I'm not against marriage. You gotta be a person that makes you want to get married. You just gotta be the one. Maybe you should. No, no. Already. Mm. What am I about to give credit? Be the one. You gotta be a person that makes you want to get married. You just gotta be the one. Maybe you should. No, no, already. What am I about to give credit for? Already. It ain't even telling her what she want to hear. He just keeping it real. Mm -hmm. You told me you didn't want to get married before. I'm not against it. It's just, you know, you got to be worth the marriage. You got to be somebody I choose or willingly want to get married to at the end of the day. So he has some value to it. So listen, let, let him cook. As y'all know, this is a favorite meme with the internet right now. Let him cook. Let, let let the recipe simmer a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let it marinate. Just listen. Hold on. You got to be a person that makes you want to get married. Just listen. You just got to be the one. Maybe it's you. Mm. He said, maybe. Mmm. Do the quick jab. He threw that. Hey. He threw that Devin Haney. Hey. Maybe it's you. Her face lit up. Look at it. Her face lit up right there real quick. You know what I'm saying? Cut her off guard. Swept her off her feet with just that one little line. Because now the conversation is about to switch to a whole nother conversation. Now it's going to become. Now the conversation is going to become about them two. Instead of the idea of would you get married. That's a question like that. Like, oh, that, that could be about anybody. Would, would you just get married in general? Now it's about to get. Now it's about to be about them to watch this. It's you. Why is this about me? You on the show? There's been plenty of bitches before me on this show. Never been Chris. I get it, but. No, I'm not ready for marriage now. Now watch this. Now listen, 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 listen. To the average sucker. Right? This looks like a contested shot. This looks like a smothered defense zone coverage. This looks like lockdown Hall of Fame, right? Listen. Hell no. Not to a slayer. Not to a nigga that know what he's doing. This this contest right here, this little uh, you know, nah, not me. It, it's really a ploy. It's really playing. It's really her mm -hmm. edging him on. 
to see how assertive he That's is. That's what I was finna say. Edging them on, egging them on type shit to keep going. Really. That's like a little playful. Like, that's, like he finna get an and one. It's like she tried to block him a little bit, touched him a little bit, foul. He still made it. Watch. He's gonna make it still. He's gonna make the shot still. She playing, but the way she played it is like she wants him to keep going, which is still, which is good. He's in a good standing. Is to see what he's going to say and if he's going to say anything that means something. Because mm -hmm. it's just like when you walk up to a woman and you're talking to her or whatever, and she says, "Well, I'm talking to somebody right now." Only a sucker, no, only a, a sucker who does not know what to listen for, falls for that. You have to know. Listen, I'm gonna give you some game right now. If she didn't want to fuck you, she would have just flat out straight said no. And laugh. But the fact that she said, "I'm talking to somebody right now." She wants. She's kind of looking for you to see if you she can fuck with you without messing up what she has going on. Mm, because girls do that all the time. So this listen, listen. Like okay, this this for my subscribers, right? If you're in a position where like you out in public, you getting a girl number or whatever the case may be, and she goes like, "I have a boyfriend." No, do I would, but I have a boyfriend, or I can't I have a boyfriend. She's still giving you play, honestly. That's not a complete shutdown at all. Because a little bitch ain't going to talk at all. That's for one. She going to walk right past you. Like, won't even tell you have a nice day. She going to walk right past you and ignore the shit out you. A real solid bitch who love all that. Telling somebody, like, I have a boyfriend shit and all that suck ass shit. You still entertaining it. You still texting back. You still, like, giving me conversation. Any bitch that feel like she give me, like if I if a girl tell me that she still giving me play and give me conversation, I know you easy. I know you is like, so don't fall for that line. Still keep going if you in that position. Cause there's different things that she could have said. There's different things that she, ways that she could have handled it. So just listen to how she gave him some contest. Right Cause like a bitch is gonna say like I just don't want to fuck with you. Like even if she if, if she loves to do, she gonna not say nothing. Or just tell the nigga straight up, like, I, nah, I'm good. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't trying to fuck with you. What you giving the nigga the satisfaction for? Like, I got a dude. That's the only reason. That's like, that's like, oh, I, this is the only reason why I'm not fucking with you. I got a dude. Lame ass hoe. Right here, like, no, I'm not ready for it. And he uses what she said against her in his reply to take it where he want to take it. Just listen. I'm not ready for marriage now. No, we gotta first. We, first, we're gonna be friends. All right. Mm. Then we're gonna start dating. Oh, he letting her know what's going you on straight up. Your life. Women love that. Sorry, I had to pause it. Women love that shit. Women love. It's just like planning a date. Women don't ever want to plan dates. They just want to go on them and look cute, like. They love when a man take control of shit. All right, but we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to, like, game plan it. It's nigga just real in by game plan. Oh, we're going to kick it. Then we're going to chill. We're going to get married. Oh, she's like, okay, manifest that shit, baby. Y'all hear her? She interested now. She's intrigued. She fuck with that. No, we got it. First, we, first we're going to be friends. All right. Then we're going to start dating. Okay, manifest your life. Cook up, good cook sex. up. Oof. Really good sex. You took it there. I'm just putting She's the time smiling about okay. it. Just listen to this. Just listen to this. She could have just said, well, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. Well, you know, I didn't say I was going to marry you right now. He is indirectly saying it's a process. Okay. Which already changed her mind to what she just said like i'm not ready for marriage well it wasn't going to happen right now you know what i'm saying that's the point of his, his whole elaboration right now just let him cook though let him cook and then you know one day i'm not gonna pull out <laughs> you just got it all together don't you? <laughs> <laughs> one day i'm not gonna pull out you just got it all together yeah but it's chris has a nigga has niggas just like you said you can find somebody better mm. now you see, she listen when the first forefront. test didn't work when the first test didn't work, play the audio, man. With the game on the line. Game on the line. Who would you rather have taking it, Iggy or Curry? Of everyone on Golden State, open shot, fate of the universe on the line, or the Martians have the death beam pointed at Earth, you better hit it. 
I want Iguodala. Listen. Let him cook, nigga. Let him cook, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Listen, 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 listen. Then the part where she try to throw another little pump fake, another little bluff at him. Let me tell you something. These women out here with these rosters, bro. That shit don't mean nothing Facts. when you come on a roster and you set the standard. A lot the average. I'm telling you, y'all think average. I gotta level y'all thinking up. Your mm. thinking should not be, oh, she a bad. I need to find a woman that don't mess with any guys. Like, listen, bro. Even an average to ugly woman will have options. They will have options, bro. So you want to tell me you want to fuck with a bad chick and you think she ain't got no options? Just Facts. understand, this is what you're walking into. Shit, not realistic. But you need you. You don't need to worry about it. If you know who you are as a man, you know what standard you set. Because already, she will compare you to the roster and say, damn, ain't nobody stepping like him. Ain't nobody moving like him. Don't, no, no man provides the value that I've ever seen in a man like this guy does. Then, in her own mind, in her own life, she'll make the decision to say, shit, this roster means nothing. These 10 men can't equate to the one that I see in this man. Mm -hmm. These 10 men couldn't do half of what this one man can do for me because he's the fucking man. And I need y'all to understand that. But this thing, this ain't some self-help motivational talk. This is really how you carry it. This is really how you need to be in life. And if you aren't that guy, if you don't carry that standard, if you don't walk about it instead of talk about it, Facts. you will not produce those results. Get on the There's roster, no go play point it guard, nigga. Make, fake it till you make it all you want just for some pussy. Then by all means, just go ahead and do what you want to do, playboy. But what I'm saying is, a lot of y'all be so intimidated. Oh, she's pretty. She has other guys. She has other options that's better than me. It's probably because you measure yourself up to other men and, and, and standards that don't really matter. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has more money than me. Oh, he's taller than me. Oh, he looks better than me. My God, when she fucks with you, like the complete package and combination of things that make you you, there is no man. Other men will disgust her. Other men would disgust her. Even if you messing with her, as the process goes on and she still got that little roster going on, she will get tired of them. Mm -hmm. She'll get tired of them dudes. Like, man. I was going to wait till he stopped talking to elaborate, but nah, he's dead ass right. Uh, bro, and, 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 and honestly, don't expect for a girl <laughs> to, to get tired of them other niggas and, and not fuck with them other niggas if you ain't coming like that. Like, that's why it's all about the confidence, bro. Like, going in, knowing that she got all these other niggas and blah, blah, blah. You got to know that you in position. You 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 finna be running the show, brother. You finna go in there and play point. Don't even worry about them other niggas. Niggas that watch Pride Time Hitler, we ain't worried about other niggas, bro. That's not what we doing. We ain't bringing up other niggas. We ain't bringing up your roster. We ain't worried about that shit, y'all. Don't, don't, be, don't get to worrying about that shit. Y'all better do that shit with them other YouTube boys. We ain't doing that shit here, though. Cause that shit lame as fuck, and it's not going to get you to the top. Play your role, play your part, and do it the best way. Kick your pimping on her, and I promise you, she's not even going to fuck with them other niggas like how she fuck with you. Like he said, even the average fours and fives got hella options. So it makes you think a pretty ass joint that you like ain't going to have options. It's not realistic. Oh, my bitches got options. Can't not never bitch tell me she ain't got no other nigga on her line. At least trying. Girls can say all day they don't text back with the whoop. I don't text niggas, blah, blah, blah. But it's niggas still trying. Trust. Uh, they just aren't as fulfilling as the relationship I have with this guy because he's a man of substance. He's a man of leadership. He's a man of intelligence. But let me not go on for too long, right? Because listen, he caught her with her own words. She said, well, what if, you know, I have a roster? What if, you know, I have a nigga or niggas? So, let me tell you something. If a woman has multiple guys, she's available. She's she's open. And what makes me say that? Mm -hmm. Because if she had the man she wanted, she wouldn't have options. Women, women don't work like that, bro. Women mm -hmm. aren't, oh, I got my main dude who, who I love dearly and then my options. When they fuck with a dude heavy... They don't want options. The first thing that woman is going to do is say, oh, are you talking to other women? Can you cut these other women off? Like, that's the first thing they do. And if she don't do that, brother. What is Chris? Don't care. Don't care the messenger. Has a nigga. Has niggas. Just like you said, you can find somebody better. 
Them niggas ain't gonna do you right. They gonna do you like I do. Mm. She trying to see. Look how he looks. Right. Now listen, let me tell you something. She's so intrigued now. He pop listen, shit. I know he all, everybody's shit. thinking this, right? And, you ain't, and if you ain't thinking this, you, you ain't a true slayer. We all know. He, he really took it easy on her right here. He, he really didn't even empty the clip. This, this, this right here, he really just shot one three and like kind of like fell back a little bit, to be honest. Like, he know wholeheartedly. Dog, listen, he could have talked her in and out the panties. Right here. Facts. Right had here. her. Definitely had her. My God, listen. Can't nobody deny it, brother. She was ready right here, right mm. now. It was already over. This is checkmate. It's done. This is like this is like playing zombies on Insta Kill. This like this this is this is so it is already over. He took it easy on her with this. Mm -hmm. This could have even got ten times worse. Just off of how I served, this is how he had her. And notice this. He didn't even beat around the bush with this whole clip. This whole clip was not being around the bush from the very beginning. He said, Maybe it's you. Now listen, as a nigga that loved the flirt. I know he might not even have been serious. He might have just been talking shit. Mm. But that's how you really work on your flirt. And that's how you really work on your, your mouthpiece a little bit. You talk some shit. You, you fuck around. You play. You always be playing. You always... Bah, bah, bah. You, you, throw little, you throw a little shit out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, and fuck around, right? Whole time you already have your purpose when you're speaking in mind. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dig. You're, you're really probing. You're digging. Let me let me see what I what, what she gonna bite on. Let me see what she what she gonna say that I can turn and twist it in the direction that I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. That's how you work on your mouthpiece. That's how you work with speaking with a purpose and with an intention and producing some sort of result. A lot of y'all be chatting. A lot of y'all just be, you know, what I'm saying running y'all mouths and y'all ain't really getting nowhere with it. But I, I need y'all to really pay attention. Like one of the things I mainly said when I be breaking this shit down is that it was about the connection between them two. He wasn't just saying things around her, being her in the bush, or trying to kind of discuss this shit with, like it's the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. It was always... I ain't gonna lie, this nigga Taekwondo be breaking the shit, breaking down the shit out of these videos. It's like, I barely gotta say anything, but it's just like, I'm gonna keep watching because my supporters need to hear this shit too. I don't know how many of y'all follow this nigga, but he breaking, he breaking this shit down to a science. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go fuck with this shit, bro. Like, but yeah, like this. I'm just letting them talk, cause this, this, this shit true as hell, and I want y'all to hear this shit. Y'all definitely need to hear this shit. It's about between him and her, and then as it got more serious and more direct, he only played into it more. Well, listen, look what you said earlier. No, no, no matter. They can't do you like how I'm gonna do you or what I'm gonna do for mm -hmm. you. Looked at her and her soul when he said that to her, and guess what? The silence was loud. Let it listen. Let it just sit there, dog. She listen. Just I'm just, I don't gotta speak on it. Just look at the end. How she uncontrollably can't even fix her face. Just facts. Just look. Can't even keep her posture. Look at her. <laughs> look at her lips a lot. That it's over. It's over. You wanna get married? It's over. It's over. It's over. And this is why I said earlier, all that, oh, I got a roster, or what am I messing with this dude, or blah, blah, blah. Sis, you wouldn't even be here. Mm -hmm. I'm not even talking about her specifically. Now I'm giving this to y'all in real life. But this is another a level of game I'm going to give y'all at the end of this video, too. Because y'all really need to understand the difference, like I said earlier, of what I meant when I said, when you listen to a person, they will tell you. 90% of what you need to say them to, to them. And I'm going to give you an example outside of talking to women. I'm going to give you an example that's just game in life, period. Right? And, and, and what it means when you're talking to someone versus talking at them. Let's get mm. in. Let me give you a great example, right? Imagine this. There is a car salesman. I'm a car salesman, right? Just follow me in my shoes. I'm a car salesman. 
a guy walks into the door. I see he has a ring on. He's married, right? I'm already, I'm noticing these little details. I'm already paying attention, right? I'm already being observant, and it's giving me half of what I'm have to be aware of as a salesman. He's married, right? But I may probe or test or say a statement which provokes him to give me some information which may help my sell of the car that I'm I'm giving to this customer. Because if I look at this customer and I force a sale that has nothing to do with what he's looking for, it makes my sell harder. And what do I mean by that? This uh, this customer comes in, he's a married man, he has two kids. I don't know any of this yet, right? But I may be able to test it and look for it and say, hey, what's going on, sir? Um, you know, uh, how you doing? My name is Jim. You know, I may introduce myself. My name is Ty. How can I help you today? Right. Simple question. He says, well, you know, I'm looking for um, something fun, something I can enjoy. But I also have, you know, the wife and the kids at home, blah, 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 blah. Right. That question just, you know, gave me a lot of details and information. And then I may say, oh, well, actually, it sounds like you're looking for something sporty, but also enough space for the family. Right. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm making a statement. But I'm also asking a question. It's like I'm probing for the information, right? And I'm giving this example to say that when you're talking to a person and you're talking to them and you listen to what they're saying, they're giving you half of the information you need, which can give you a broad range of options to use during the conversation. Because now that I know, when he just said, okay, wife and kids, that just told me, okay, he needs a car with space. Okay, well, maybe the, I see he, I may, I may ask him something else or make another statement that lets me know he likes a sporty car. He wants to have fun and enjoy the daily drive. He's not just looking for space because he'll get bored of the car. So now I know that's another box I can check. And if I check these right. boxes appropriately, here's where the real awareness comes in. If I check these boxes appropriately, right, and I give this customer not what I'm trying to sell them, but I give them what they're looking for. It doesn't matter. It probably will eventually. The price of the car. They are so sold into what they want that all I'm doing is simply giving them what they want. And and then, you know, I'm just I'm really like I'm really like a middleman here. I'm not even I'm almost not even my intention to make a sale and a profit is almost not even seen. Because I'm talking to them, I'm listening, I'm paying attention, I'm using what they said to, you know, move the conversation along. I'm, I'm. This nigga talking so. Much. All right, listen, man, listen. I, 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 every man needs a mouthpiece in his game. The title is 100% correct. Y'all see how the, uh, the roles kind of switch. Like it, it, it worked in his favor once he got to popping his shit super easily. You could the first thing he said. Her first reaction to the first thing he said, Shadi wasn't really feeling it like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nah, I ain't blah, 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 blah. But he calmly and subtly popped his shit without even trying. And I just hold down there wetting her pants. Just off, of, just off his little game. Just off his little shit popping. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about how you look, fellas. It's about the charisma. It's about your game. It's about your sauce, bro. You could be the fattest nigga in the room. You know what I'm saying? You could weigh 300, but you could be like Biggie Smalls. He had that charisma. He had that flyness about him. He was popping his shit. He had that game. As long as you know how to get in the whole ear, you can get in the rear. You know what I'm saying? If you can get in the ear, you can get in the rear. Nah, for real. That shit crazy, bro. Cause it's just like, man, that sauce could take you a long way. I ain't gonna cap. But y'all let me know what y'all think down below, man. This nigga Taekwondo really broke this video down like a motherfucker. He broke a 30 second clip down to 17 minutes. That's OC. You OC, fool. I ain't gonna lie, fool. You OC.